friends, another episode of Office Camper here, my YouTube channel. I'm uh, parked here uh, inside my van, and today I'm going to show you how I do, how I uh, build my own DIY um, uh, kit and cabinets for my van. So hope that this video is uh, useful for you in case you are planning your own DIY conversion van. So let's take a look. Well, basically, as you can see here is my the main cabinet of the this side of the van and it's, it is composed by uh, two main cabinets. This one is to, uh, uh, to my clothes and this one is to put some uh, kits and stuff uh, inside of it. And I'm going to show you here. Uh, I have some uh, kits, kits and stuff here. Uh, all the things that I need to cook and all that kind of stuff. Some macaroni, cheese and some uh, aluminum foil and plastic foil, plastic film and a little bit of salt. Uh, olive oil and uh, some cups and some uh, dishes that I have here. Uh, you can see here that I have my sink with uh, running water obviously. I have a button here and when I press it I have instantly running water. Um, I also can um, open this uh, faucet here but I don't use it I always leave this faucet open and I'm gonna show you why because I discover that if I use this simple button uh, it is uh, more um, efficient uh, to save uh, water for my from my water tank so uh, instead of open and close the faucet you uh, are going to lose a little bit of water doing that, that process, but instead of that, I just use this button to have uh, running water. So the sink, I, 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 it was made by a salad bowl. You can uh, see it on another video related of the, to this that I have. I use this salad bowl uh, about uh, one, one eighty. Uh, US dollars very very cheap and I drill a hole, hole here and as you can see um, I always have some a uh, little bit of water but that's not a problem you just use your sponge and and that's all so it's not a big deal one of the things that you have to consider when you build your cabinet it's do uh, very very durable uh, cabinets also I put this aluminum stripes here aluminum angles I mean um, and, it, and the, the cabinets are covered in this material called laminate that I glue glue it here and uh, also I have a, a, a vent here um, because this in case that this area gets a little bit of uh, a, a, a humidity um, it can breathe through this uh, vent it's a boat vent basically what i have here inside some pans uh some uh, uh that kind of stuff this is the, the the install as you can see here of my 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 sink uh and it's go uh, connected to a hose uh to the there's no gray water tank here i don't need it at all and probably you are not going to use it also my water pump here is the, the electrical stuff here is a seaflow professional grade pump uh, the model is f uh, i mean sfd p1 0 27 0 17 41 it's a 12 volt um drags 3 amps an hour and I have been using this pump for more than uh, maybe two years from now, maybe a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more. Uh, no complaint about that. this pump. Um, very, very good quality. I have another, uh, another place here to storage 
uh, more sinks. Uh, very useful space uh, to store uh, all of that miscellaneous kind of things here. Uh, these are, well, these are magic towels. You can uh, put a little bit of water uh, in a glass of water and uh, it magically turns into a towel. So it's a great, great thing to have uh, on the van also. And this, uh, the, 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 the cover here of this uh, is just PVC. This is uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, rubber PVC, I don't know, uh, that I use here and I glue it to the, to this part of the cabinet. This is my, my stove here. And it's great because I can I have I can have uh, another uh, place to put things here. It's very very simple to use it, and good from uh, for the space also. My water tank. This is my water level. As you can see, if I move a little bit the van, you can see the water level. Uh, there, so it's a very very useful stuff uh, because I don't have uh, that kind of uh, water level levels for my tank. So I just uh, cut a hole here, and I just use it in that way. So this is my water tank, 35 uh, liter uh, water tank, enough to be one week here. Uh, but if I uh, brushing my teeth, uh, making coffee and cooking. But if I want to, I want to make the dishes, obviously this just, uh, I just this use, this lasts only for three uh, days. Well, another great feature that I have here in my kitchen is that this thing, my stove is completely, has this base and it's completely removable. So if I want to cook outside of the van, I just can easy, easily uh, pull the thing out and install it back without any problem. So yeah, that's basically my kitchen setup here. Well guys, this was basically my setup here uh, of my kitchen, a very minimalistic style as you can see. It's, it's very tiny and I'm very satisfied with the result of, of this, um, this uh, kitchen setup. So, hope you guys enjoyed the, the video in case you are planning to do your own conversion van DIY project. And uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, you always can hit the thumbs up over there. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.